Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I show you how to install and configure Windows Server Backup on Windows Server 2022. Windows Server Backup is a feature that provides backup and restore of the operating system, applications, and data. You can schedule backups, protect the entire server or specific volumes, recover volumes, folders, files, and system state in the event of disasters, such as hard drive failure. Windows Server Backup allows for a system state backup, and this backup contains all the information to restore the server to a specific point in time. First, you must know the steps to install Windows Server Backup. First, open the Server Manager dashboard. Then click Add Roles and Features. On the Before You Begin page, click Next to continue. Then selecting the installation type, select Role-based or Feature-based installation. And click on Next to follow. Here, select the destination server. If you have more than one server, select the host you want to add the services to and click Next to continue. On the Server Roles page, click the Next button to continue. Then on the Select Features page, scroll down and choose the Windows Server Backup box. Then, click on the Next button to continue. In this step, confirm installation selections and click on Install to start the installation process. And wait for the installation process to finish. After Windows Server Backup feature is successfully installed, click the Close button. And this was the first step. The next step is, how to configure Windows Server Backup, and how to backup folders. Then from Server Manager Dashboard, click on the Tools menu, and select Windows Server Backup. And after opening Windows Server Backup, on the left, click Select Local Backup. Then, go to the right, and click Backup once. In the In Backup Options window, select different options and click Next to continue the backup process. In this step, you can choose Configure Backup. The first option is to make a full backup. This includes the entire operating system, in addition to the host, as well as all files and folders on the server. The second option is Custom, and this option gives you the folders that you want to backup. Here, I will choose Custom, and then click on the Next button to continue. This step is to select the backup items. Then, click on the Add Items button. Then, select the volumes to back up, whether it is folders or files, and then click on the OK button. Then click on the Next button, to continue with the rest of the steps. In this step select the destination type where you want, to put the backup. There are two options, the first is Local Drives, to put the backup on the same hard drive, but in a different partition. The second option is, if you want to put the backup on the remote shared folder. Here I will choose the first option, which is local drives. And click on the next button. In this step select the partition, where you want to place the backup. Then click on the next button. And finally, click on the backup button. To start the backup process. This process may take a long, or short time, depending on the size of the backup files. In any case. Wait until the backup process is completed. After completing the backup, verify that the backup is complete. Click close to close backup once wizard. Now make sure that the backup has been successfully made on the partition. Go to the partition to find the backup dated at the time of the backup. And in the event that the folder that we backed up has been deleted. For example I will delete the folder. Learn how to restore a backup. And this is the last step to explain the Windows Server Backup feature. Then, open Windows Server Backup again. And on the right, click on Recover. Then select the Server option, because the backup is on the same hard drive. The second option is if the backup is on a remote shared folder. I will choose the Server, and click on the Next button. In this step, select Backup Date. So select the date, and time of the backup you want to restore and click Next. And in determining the type of recovery, select the Files and Folders option, and then click Next. Then Browse, and select the items to be recovered, and click on Next. And in the Recovery step, select the original location, until the folder is restored to its original location, click on Next. And finally, click on the Recover button, 
and wait until the backup restore is finished. After finishing recovery progress, click close. And you can go to the location of the original folder, and you will find that the folder has been restored successfully. You can backup all important folders, and files you want in the same way. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.